Did anyone see this coming? Hello there everyone, my name is Elliot Webber and welcome back to the channel. Um, the second video today that is being made, I'm actually recording this back to back so I've just finished recording and editing uh, the BMW video that I just made, you can go check that out on the channel right now. And um, yeah, and so this is sort of a, a little reaction and prediction video of, of Dan Robottom. As we know, Dan Robottom is returning to the British Touring Car Championship this year. Not only is he returning, he is returning in one of the top seats in the series. Yep, he is replacing Matt Neal at Team Dynamics, or as they will now be known as, Halfords Racing with Cataclean UK. Because Dan Rowbottom, sponsored by Cataclean, has been, I believe, throughout, mostly throughout his career, he was sponsored by Cataclean in his Clear Cup days and was also sponsored by Cataclean uh, in 2019 when he raced with Sicily Motorsport in the Mercedes. And... Honestly, I am a little bit shocked. Um, it was rumours, there was rumours going about uh, about who was going to take the second seat. Uh, as we know, Gordon Shedden, three-time uh, British champion, race winner in world touring cars. He is coming back after a three-year hiatus from the series. Um, uh, and he was actually replacing Dan Kamish. Dan Kamish, as we know, sadly, has pulled out of BTCC this year due to funding. Uh, he is now, uh, of course, now racing in the Porsche Carrera Cup GB uh, with t with Redline Racing, where that's going to be some exciting stuff. Him and Harry King on track. Woo! That's going to be tasty. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so Dan Rowbottom and Gordon Shedden now at Honda on what is now no longer the works Honda team. Honda and UASA announced that they will no longer be uh, sponsoring or backing Team Dynamics for um, this season at the end. Um, it is quite a shame to see Honda go. It is also quite a shame to see UASA go. Two very important parts of Team Dynamics and their very important parts to uh, to their success. Um, so yeah, uh, two huge losses there. Not only a third huge loss, Matt Neal will not be racing in the BCCC in 2021. Uh, he will be taking at least a season out. Whether he will actually come back in 2022 when touring cars go hybrid, I don't know. Um, so yeah, Dan Robottom's at Honda. Um, now let's take a look at, at what I think is actually going to happen with, with Robottom. How I think he's going to get on. So yeah, how do I think Dan is going to get on? Well, um, he's not a terrible driver. Nowhere near is he the worst driver on the grid. We know he is not the best driver on the grid either. Um, however, um, he's now in a good car. Um, as we know, the Mercedes in 2019, it was on its way out. Uh, and of course, as we know, 2020 was the last year of the Mercedes. Uh, even though, yeah, Adam Morgan, he did win a race last year at Alton Park in the Mercedes car. And of course, that was a very emotional win for him. It was his first win, I think, in over two years. So Adam, of course, well done on, on your win. Jack Battelle as well, which was Dan Robottom's replacement. Um, of course, Dan also pulled out in 2020. Uh, he didn't uh, race in 2020 in touring cars because he, he sadly couldn't. Uh, he was impacted by COVID-19, like a lot of people were. Uh, but Dan, great to see him back on the grid. Um, he deserves to be on the grid, 100%. He is, he's not a terrible driver. He was showing a lot of potential in the Mercedes in 2019. He got a lot of consistent point scores and was there or thereabouts. He was about P16, P15. So he was regularly in the points. Um, he sadly never got a top 10. I believe his best finish was uh, 13th, I believe. Um... So Dan was he had a very good 2019 season. Um, however, now he is in a much better car, much better team, with a much better teammate. Um, he is going to learn a lot of Gordon Shedden because um, we know Flash, we know three-time champion, won multiple races, one of the greatest of all time. Um, but yeah, Flash. Uh, I think Flash is going to be in with a shout at the title. Uh, as for Dan, I think he's going to be chasing the Jack Sears Trophy this year. As we know, Jack Sears Trophy is for drivers who are yet to win an overall race. Uh, Road Bottom, as we know, has it. Oh, gosh, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so I think Dan's aim should be the Jack Sears Trophy, regular top 10s and reverse grid podiums. Um, he may get a win. He is in a Honda. He is in the best Honda team. So Dan... 
I would not write him off for a race win. However, I think the Jack Sears Trophy is where he will be fighting for. As we know, there's a lot of competition in the Jack Sears Trophy. Guys like uh, Sam Osborne, guys like um, like Jack Patel, uh, Rick Parfit Jr., as we know, debuting this year. So the Jack Sears Trophy is definitely going to be something to look out for. As well, we've got Jade Edwards and Michael Kreese at BTC Racing. So, yeah, it's a very competitive field. And Dan, with a year out, what what is he what has he learned from a year out? Has he improved in any way? Um, and I think that's going to be exciting bit to see how well Dan can do. And I wish Dan all the best. Of course, as we know, I am a Honda fanboy. Team Dynamics is my favourite team, so Dan will already have my undying support. Um, so yeah, Dan, if you're watching this, good luck this season. I wish you all the best. Also, good luck to Gordon Shedden, and welcome back to Touring Cars Flash. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. What do you think? Is this a good move by Honda? Um, is Dan Robottom worthy of a top seat in touring cars yet? Or do you think he should have stayed sort of in the mid-pack and uh, with one of the mid-pack teams? But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.